Hello YouTubers, this is Cessna Ace and I am nuts because I keep having to do this video over again because this keeps ringing and it's always somebody I have to talk to so hopefully I can get through this video without uh, the phone ringing. Now, what I thought I would do is show you some recent uh, calendar ads to my collection. I believe I did mention uh, fairly recently that uh, I collect calendars. I periodically get people a comment to my videos or they will send me a private message or they will email me or they will post something on my Facebook page. But the, where I'm going with this is somebody will invariably ask, are you a hoarder? Or do you think you're a hoarder? And my response is always, no, I am not a hoarder. I'm a collector. I collect collections. If you can hear a cat eating in the background rather noisy, noisily, that is Suzy Q. We have three cats. Suzy Q I named after Suzy Quattro. Anyway, first up, there she flies. Um, I thought I would start with some calendars that uh, are actually for 2013, but they're 16 month calendars, and so they go into the year of 2014. I did say these were recent ads. Recent is a relative term. And I'm babbling, so I don't know if I'm making any sense or not. Anyway, in case you didn't hear or see, Susie Quattro is now back over there again. Uh, Susie Q. Okay. First up, Harry Potter. This is, as I said, a 16-month calendar from 2013. I am a big Harry Potter fan. I have read all the books from cover to cover. I have all of the movies on DVD, which I have seen numerous times. I have all the movies on Blu-ray now. And whenever it is shown, it, whenever any of the Harry Potter films are shown on ABC Family, it's owned by Disney, it used to be Fo uh, Fox Family and was owned by Fox. Anyway, ABC Family runs the Harry Potter films a lot, and when they do, they add extra footage. And some of that footage is rather cool and helps with the plot. So I don't know why I can't ever find video versions of those expanded versions. It's kind of a little redundant. Anyway, in the back you get images that appear in the calendar. That big one, that big wide one, is a downloadable wallpaper image that is also used for January. Bonus! Downloadable electronic calendar widget. Free Harry Potter widget. Free Harry Potter widget. Includes bonus access code to download your 2013 widget. Each month, a different character will appear on your desktop with a daily calendar. Move your mouse over it for a monthly view and click to be transported to the Harry Potter website. Widget expires on 12-31-2013. Online registration is required. Oh, well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's a 16-month calendar, but they only show you 12 images on the back. Okay, sticking with 2013 and 16 month calendars and Harry Potter. Lego Harry Potter. Lego Harry Potter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Hmm, thirteen images this time for a sixteen month calendar. Hmm. 
Okay, sticking with 2013 and 16 month calendars, we have one for the Three Stooges. Now, growing up, I used to watch the Three Stooges all the time because well, my dad was in the army at the time and we moved a lot, but wherever we moved to, there would be a local station running the Three Stooges shorts every single day. In fact, the second television station I worked for ran the Three Stooges shorts every single day. And they also ran the Wall and Hardy shorts, which was cool. I'm also a Wall and Hardy fan. Okay. 16 month calendar. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 images. And I am sensing a pattern. Okay, sticking with 16 month calendars, but moving on to 2014, we have classic, classic film. Calendar for The Wizard of Oz. This film was released on Laserdisc multiple times. Multiple versions, multiple features, and um, so if you like The Wizard of Oz, there's plenty of Laserdisc releases to choose from. Bonus downloadable calendar. Free event widget and wallpaper. With this free downloadable event widget, you can enter birthday, anniversary, and special event dates. The widget will remind you about your upcoming events so you'll never forget another special occasion again. Extra bonus calendar also includes a free wallpaper download for your computer. PC and Mac compatible. Widget expires on 12-31-2014. Online registration is required. Okay, when I saw this cover, I immediately had to have this calendar. I guess was the whole idea. I guess they wanted to choose an image that would say, buy me. Doesn't always work on me, but this particular one did. It's only a 12-month uh, calendar, but it has a cool cover. It has a classic Mustang. Now, when I was a kid growing up in the 60s, we had as a second car a 1966 Mustang convertible. Now, my dad traded it in and bought a Winnebago motorhome. But my dad apparently has a sense of humor because on the front of the Winnebago, he put a license plate that said Mustang Eater. Because if he had kept that 66 Mustang convertible and kept it in beautiful condition, it would go for big money these days. Other muscle cars depicted therein, or classic cars, I should say. It says classic cars, not muscle cars. Yes, it said incoming call and then it stopped being incoming. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Now that's odd. A twelve month calendar with thirteen images on the back. Now I'm assuming, but of course you know you can get into trouble with that, that maybe that was only used for the cover. Don't know. Okay, this is a classic car calendar also, but this is not an American car. And in fact, this calendar was very difficult for me to locate. I wanted a calendar that would depict this model and cars from this manufacturer. Everywhere I looked locally, even places with a huge inventory of calendars didn't have one. So I went online to Amazon and found one almost immediately. 
Now this car manufacturer is French and they manufactured what I believe to be the most beautiful car in the world. And James May of the British version of Top Gear, I don't like the American version of Top Gear, but thankfully while the American version runs on the History Channel, strange place for it to be, the British version runs on, you guessed it, BBC America. Anyway, James May says he thinks this is the most beautiful car ever made, and I agree. Hope I pronounced this correctly. Citroen Classic Cars. That is a Citroen DS, although it's in France they pronounce it DS because that is French for goddess. And she is a goddess. Now, fairly recently I saw a video on YouTube. It was either from Motor Trend or um, Track and Road Road and Track or whatever the magazine's called. Anyway, they both have YouTube channels and they did a video comparing a Tesla with a Citroen DS. And they were trying to determine which car was the most state-of-the-art for its time. Now Tesla brand new car and it's really nice. And it has a lot of innovations to it. But they chose the DS when all was said and done. Because it um, did so many things. Uh, just overnight improved so many aspects of cars. Uh, I believe it was the first car to have uh, uh, disc brakes and it had hydrodynamic uh, suspension rode on um, like a, these uh, gel packs full of I believe it was nitrogen making the car ride very smoothly in fact I've seen a lot of behind the scenes stills of various movies that were shot in Europe and whenever they show the camera car it is invariably a Citroen with hydrodynamic uh, suspension. In fact, there's an episode of uh, Chips, if you remember that show, where Officer John Baker is riding down the interstate on his uh, motorcycle, and he thinks he sees something, but he's not quite sure. And as he gets closer and closer to it, it, he don it dawns on him that, yes, that car only has three wheels on it. There's a wheel missing. So he pulls it over, but it's riding perfectly. And Deus would ride on three wheels without any modification whatsoever. It was just that stable. And in fact, uh, when terrorists attempted to assassinate the French uh, President uh, de Gaulle and peppered his Citroën Deus with um, bullet holes, his uh, chauffeur was able to punch it and get out of there and he attributed this to the fact that the Citroen DS could ride perfectly stable with two flat tires at speed. In fact I saw a video on YouTube, I know I'm babbling, this company in um, one of the Scandinavian countries was experimenting with a uh, automated uh, driverless car system. Sensors in the road, and sensors in the on the car, and uh, the car would drive itself. And they chose a Citroen DS to do the experimenting on because they said it was the most stable car they could use. And they showed footage of a Citroen DS driving down uh, the road covered with snow at 80 miles an hour guy behind the wheel just calmly reading a newspaper cool now we got the Citroen DS here we also got the SM 
and although Citroen didn't import it in the US, an American company imported the CX. Now at the time I bought this calendar, I also bought a number of books on Citroen, which I'm going to have to show at some point because there are some cool photos in there. There have been a ton of modifications done to Citroen, both by Citroen, for Citroen, or aftermarket, totally. And in fact, one of the books mentions a company that I didn't know about in California that takes an SM. The SM was basically a DS with uh, a Maserati engine in it. And uh, this was made makes total sense because at the time Maserati was owned by Citroen. In fact, Jay Leno in, on his channel, Jay Leno's Garage, in one of his videos, you can plainly see right behind him is a Citroen SM and a Citroen DS. Anyway, this company in California, they modify an SM after they do the restoration or while they're doing the restoration so that it could top 200 miles per hour. And I swear, it has what looks like a parachute pack on the back. Now, in addition to that, they offer an SM convertible pickup. Here's some of you saying, only in America. We have a company here in Jacksonville, Florida, where I live, that modifies cars like that. I have seen stretch Porsches. I have seen a convertible Corvette pickup. Again, I hear you saying, only in America. Anyway, really cool cars. I just love Citroëns. Especially the three models and their variants that I mentioned. That is a Day S. We would call it a station wagon, but in Europe and in England they refer to them as estates. I believe that's an SM. I've only seen one SM in person in my entire life and that was when we were living in West Germany. Somebody had one. And he popped the hood and let us look at the Maserati engine. Really cool. Okay. Save those two for last. Those three for last. Okay. We have a 16 month calendar for 2014 for cars. One, two, three, four per row. Three rows, that would be 12. So a 16 month calendar, but they only show you 12 of them. 12 of the images. Okay. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is a 12 month calendar. Three, six, nine, twelve. They show all the images on the back. Okay, these next two I bought for my wife and she didn't want them. She's a big Disney fan. So I got her Mickey Mini. And figuring I would give her a choice, I got also got her a 16 month calendar for Minnie Mouse. And she told me that um, she already had two calendars for 2014. 
just hadn't put one up yet. And I said, well, I only paid a dollar a piece for them because I got them at Dollar uh, Tree. It's, they weren't a major gift. They were basically just something to put under the tree to make it look like there were more presents. Seems like the older I get, the more bare the underside of a tree looks. When I was a kid, it seemed like toys were piled up everywhere, or presents were top, up, piled up everywhere, and there'd be a bicycle, and there'd be a sled, and there'd be a, uh, occasionally a, like a red wagon or something. And I mentioned this to my mom, and she said, you have to remember that uh, electronic toys, anyway, were a lot bigger back then, which is true. And finally, we have... Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh, that's all I'm going to sing because I just don't want to lose you. Okay. You said to yourself, he's lost it. He's totally lost it. And since I've totally lost it, and I'm at the end of that stack, I will go ahead and end. Except to say, I still have a lot of Laserdiscs to show, and a lot of DVD and Blu-rays to show, and um, books, magazines, and over 200 comic books. Really, really cool ones, too. And some you would not believe. They are not sold in any store. These particular ones I'm talking about are only available online and it took four months from the time I placed the order for it to be filled. I have two more orders they're, they're working on but I'll get to those that somebody might vote down on on that video because they are adult comics but you know whatever trolls go here and there and they like to spread negativity everywhere they go if, however, you would like to make a comment, even if it's uh, criticism, if it's constructive criticism, fine. Down there in the comment section. Also, um, feel free to uh, join me on my Facebook page. Um, if you know any of the major gamers here on YouTube, I'm friends with them on Facebook. So it's easy to find me. Um, also, if you send me a private message and you ask real nice, I'll tell you what my name is, and that way you can search much more easily. But anyway, I'm also on uh, Twitter, but I don't, I'm not much of a twit, so I don't tweet much. Until next time, stay awesome.